This morning, former President Donald Trump is defiant, posting his mugshot online with the caption, Never Surrender. This after surrendering to authorities in Atlanta, Georgia yesterday for the 13 felony charges surrounding his alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results there. Trump posted bail and then traveled to his private club in New Jersey for the night. A lot to go through here on Night News Legal Analyst Whitney Trailer joins us now to break down this case. Thanks for coming in. Sure, good to be here. Good morning. So what happens next in this case? Well, a lot. There's going to be a lot of issues because, as you said, there's 19 different defendants. And so now the question is going to be uh, when there will be a trial. That's going to be a fight. Fannie Willis, the prosecutor, has indicated she wanted it as early as October. I'd be shocked if, if that were the case. But she also wants it as soon as possible. President Trump is going to want to try and push it out. So that's going to be a big fight. Then they're going to try and sever the, uh, and that's, that's going to be a strategy between the various defendants. Does it make sense to try it all collectively? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense to have individual defendants? So you're going to see a lot of those kind of motions before we get into the, the substance. And of course, there'll be a preliminary hearing and, and things like that. It, a traditional criminal trial, it's going to move forward. But in this case, those two issues, when and if everybody will be tried together, are going to be the major issues. Okay. Now, one of the co-defendants with the Colorado tie is Jenna Ellis. Yes. And she has expressed that she feels that Trump should pay her legal fees because it was all to help him out in the first place. Do you think this is something that would be considered and why or why not? No, I don't think that should be a consideration. I'd be shocked if President Trump uh, or former President Trump... Um, Paid the those, money. yeah, exactly. Fronted the money. There's no basis for that. They're all defendants. They all acted on on their own, and yeah, they sought to help uh, try and overturn the election. But did they do so lawfully? And you know, were they forced to do so by President Trump? This was all voluntary. Mm -hmm. So, and I can see that a number of the defendants are going to do fundraising, and uh, based on the polarization and the, uh, I guess the energy behind Trump and some of the other defendants, there will be significant fundraising. So this isn't Trump's first indictment. It's actually his fourth, yeah. but this is his first mugshot. Why the mugshot this time? Well, it's a good question. Uh, everyone, everyone else, all the other prosecutors said, hey, we're going to treat it like any other defendant. And your, uh, your, it's called your booking photo, but everybody knows it is your mugshot, is part of that process. So why they didn't before, in this case, it's not really necessary. They take all this information, the fingerprint and everything else, so that they can identify the right. defendant. There's no issue. Nobody's going to question who Donald Trump is or, or if he's the correct defendant. So... I, I can see why they didn't do it in the other cases, but here, if they're treating him like any other defendant, then this is part of the process. So yesterday, before he turned himself in, he did kind of a surprising move to a lot of people, and he changed his defense attorney. Yeah. What was the reasoning behind this? Well, we may never know all the reasons, but, uh, and this is not necessarily unusual, he's had a number of defense attorneys. And so sometimes this could be, the, you know, the, the new lawyer that he got has a stellar reputation. I read some articles yesterday that he's considered the best criminal defense lawyer in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times it is the connections that the lawyer has, because, I, I mean, I do believe you get what you pay for in terms of your legal defense. And your attorney, it, it may be expensive, but you want the best attorney, particularly in a criminal defense situation. And sometimes those attorneys, because of their experience, they have relationships within the criminal system. And so there could be a number of different reasons. There could also be a reason, though, and I've had this with clients, where you just disagreed on how to go forward. Right. And I have, the, the client ultimately has the say, but you're, as the attorney, you're the quarterback. You know these decisions. And, and so if, if there's times where either a, uh, a defendant or a, a client is not being honest with you, if they're not agreeing with you in terms of your strategy and how to move forward, then sometimes you, the, the lawyer may have to withdraw. So yeah. this could yeah, be, um, reasons. yeah, they, they didn't get along. It could be money related. It could be skill related. So any number of reasons that we just don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well,